Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching Louisville Sports Media Network. I'm Levi Scheinman. With me tonight is Ray Annis. We've got a district matchup tonight between the Marauders and the Jaguars. The Marauders are coming in off their first loss of the season to Capel, but leading the district with 10 wins, while the Jaguars are coming in with a record of one win, four draws, and six losses. Marcus today is having a team full of juniors and seniors. Even the and even though Flower Mound has been was the state champion last year, they lost a lot of their seniors in that year, and they've been spending this year trying to rebuild the team and the identity of the team. Thank you for that. Everyone in tonight's broadcast is a student in the sports media or AV production classes. If you are new to us, make sure to check out any of our other games on our channel. Tonight will be a great rivalry game. But make sure to stay tuned for softball and baseball games coming up later this semester after spring break. If you are watching and want to know how you can become a game sponsor, please contact us at LSMN Sports on Twitter or by emailing Mr. Purvis at PurvisL at LASD.net. Now, Ray, this is a good this is a good matchup here. We have Marcus, who's been on, who recently just came off a win from, um, I believe, Capel. Lost. And I mean, a loss. I'm sorry about that. And we have Flower Mound, who's, I can't really say he's doing that well right now, but you know what? This is soccer. Anything can happen. That's the good thing about this yeah. game. They're generally low scoring, so they, I mean, one goal from Flower Mound could put this away. They're usually not that high scoring, so it's decided by one or two goals most times. Now, uh, if I'm correct, Marcus is 12th in the nation, which, it, which I mean, that has to be kind of intimidating for Flower Mound. As I mean, being the former champions, anything you got on that? I mean, Flower Mound fell off last year. As we've said, they lost a lot of their seniors. Now I believe they're somewhere in 500 rank of the nation. And um, Marcus is leading the state. They're number one in the state right now, which is very impressive. Here we go. Just about to get ready. Anyways, I, I believe Marcus will do very well this game and continue to do well this season. Well, Flower Mound will hope to pull it back and get their season going yeah. right again. You know, the Flower Mound's number one target will be to, I mean, be the underdog in this game, try to get on top here. But as you can see here, Marcus is number one in at the table with Flower Mound being at 7th. Yeah, I mean, uh, Marcus is heavily favored in here. This is a very important game for Flower Mound. They lose this game. Carter, I mean, they have a chance of catching up. I mean, yeah, I mean, and if you look at the points differential, it was 30 to 7, 23 points difference between Marcus and Flower Mound here on the season. Here we go, a shot of the coach from Marcus. Go. What, what what do you think they should focus on here for both teams? I mean, uh, what's going to be most important is keeping the other team. It's going to sound redundant, but just keep the other team from scoring. Have your goalkeepers make sure they play on top of their game today, and hopefully they can keep the ball out of the goal. As long as they have teamwork throughout the defense, midfield, and, of course, attacking, I think they'll be perfectly fine. I mean... You look at who Marcus has, I mean, they have some pretty stacked players up there. They do. They've got some really good players, and if they can play well together, I think either team could easily nail this game down and win. But then again, if Flower Mound somehow pulls this win off, that would be a major win for them, not only for the, the ranking in the table, but, I mean, just to say that they beat them. I mean, it is a very impressive to be the number one team in the state. No matter the scenario. Here we are, the national anthem. Number 
just to the center. Number seven, Luke Tyler. Number eight, Janet Warren. Number nine, Jordan Garza. Number ten, Kristen Hernandez. Now, one of the captains tonight for Marcus will be Porter Pomacall who I've seen some of his plays, and I, I must say, he's a really impressive player. He's only a junior, and I mean, I mean, if you really think about it, most of the Marcus team is are juniors and sophomores and a couple of seniors, but mostly juniors. And you have Flower Mountain, who's just now recovering, as you said earlier, from losing a lot of their starting players. Now, the thing about Flower Mountain is, even though they're not doing the best this year, they, they are a very young team and they have lots of time to develop after losing most of their team to seniors last year. The, this team's got to be very young and, well, just they have time to develop and build. Number 26, Jamie Baxter. Number 28, Omar Hubert. The assistant coaches are Rocky Waters and Brandon Gray. The Flyer Mountain head coach is David Doyle. And now, here is your Marcus Marauders. You notice here number 12 and number 13 are both related to each other. Number 12 being Harvey Castro and number 13, Zach Castro. Both brothers to each other and both really good players. Do you think we can see any chemistry between them two? I mean, they probably spend a lot of time together, so maybe they might just know each other better than anyone else on the team. That would be key in this game. Good chemistry is key in any game. Good teamwork, knowing where your teammates are, what to do at the right time, and what wins or loses the game. It's all about communication. It's about good passes, the good the good communication that builds up to those plays with the goals. And now the goalkeepers. And it's going to be lots of dependence on them. One of them being Grayson Turner, number zero. I mean, goalkeepers are always an important part of the soccer team. And they're the literal last line of defense between the ball and the goal. And lots of shots come down to the goalkeepers to stop it. And having a good goalkeeper can win you the game. Here we go with the last play. Tyler Dawson, number 26, going up. Now, Marcus and Flower Mountain are known for great rivalries throughout every sport, football, soccer, every, I mean, volleyball too, every sport. Everybody wants to own, the, wants to own Flower Mountain. And this is just, it's just one of those things, you know. There can't be, there can't be the two of us in one town. Yeah. yeah, another one of those games of the year. Only a couple times a year do you get to see a great rivalry like this. In our district, there's a couple, and uh, this is one of the few. Expecting to see some great things from both these teams. Lots of aggressiveness. Maybe a little bit of tension because of the rivalry. You know the coaches want them to do their best, especially in this game. Coaches always want their team to do good, I would think. But uh, I get what you're saying, especially in the rivalry, coaches want to win, want to prove they're the better coach. Always trying to prove that they're better.
right, time to get this game started. Yep. Players giving good luck to each other. And they're gonna come out on the field, get ready for the start of the game. Now, is there any advice for Flymount here mentally that they should prepare for being, I mean, Marcus, the bigger team here? I mean, just generally try not to think about uh, rankings. Try not to think about wins, losses, all that. Try and think of just now, what, what are you going to do to beat just the other team on the field? It's not number one in the state. It's not anything. It's just go and beat the team on the field. That's what you've got to worry about, not the rankings, not anything else. That's a good point. That's a good point. Just leave it all out there. Got to be in the now right now. Here we go, deciding who will have the ball first. Marcus Captains being Porter, Pomacall, Nick Raybell, Harvey Castro, and Garrett Carbs. Flyer Mounds being Sebastian Palma. go getting ready to play finally let's see let's see in these two 240 minute halves who can beat a better dog up here who can claim the mound who can who can just get the win in the game that is generally what you try and do in a season in sports just go out there and get the win but in here who can claim the mound I mean, yeah, as we mentioned before, there's a very intense rivalry between these two teams in all, in all sports. Looks like Marcus will start with the ball. Marcus in a bit of a huddle, but coming out now. we go. Hunter Hoffman's up for kick for kickoff. Looks like a very offense positioning. Lots of people trying to there we go. Pass back. Oh that was a good pass down the line. And that's out. Yeah. Far Mountain's ball. That was they did they did not wait to start that game. No, Mark is very aggressive this start. Maybe that's why what's been leading them to their great season so far. Here we go down the line for a flower mound. Oh, but Marcus intercepts. Taking it back. Back to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper's looking for options. Flower mound gets the ball. Out wide. Back. And he goes down to the middle and still has the ball in the corner. Fly him out. Oh, and that was, he fell down. He, he definitely fell down one. That was a good. But hey, it's still Flyer Mountain's ball. They still have a chance to get this. It's good hustle by Flyer Mountain, also by Marcus to get there and make sure he couldn't get the ball. It's good movement from Flyer Mountain, but it was not good enough. Marcus takes ball, they're fighting. Here we go, Marcus taking it down. That was a good pass out wide. Oh, he's going, he's not waiting for them. That is number seven, Colin Procassi. Oh, okay. 
Now you cannot miss chances like those. You need you need at least two other people up there ready for that ball. I mean, they had the good chance when they um they had the good pass, the good chemistry there. Of just kind of not really seeing where the other player was, but still completing the pass. I think he just waited for one, maybe two more players on Marcus. He may, they may have been able to capitalize on that opportunity. See if they can learn from that mistake. Here we go, Marcus with the ball after Flower Mound's kick. Oh, good little move there. You go, don't. Oh, out of bounds on Marcus. It's a very intense game so far, and like we said, both teams immediately trying to get the ball as far downfield as possible. No no stops, no waiting, no nothing. Oh, here we go. He's taking it down. He's one on one. It's one on three. No. It's good defense from Fly Mountain, but can they clear it out? Fly Mountain has the ball once again, taking it down. Oh, and he somehow avoided two defenders. That will be Flower Mound's ball. They are not waiting. They want that goal as early as they can. Down the middle to number 24. And that is intercepted by Marcus. So but then intercepted by Flower Mound. Here we go. Could this be a chance? Oh, it's out. He's taking it down. Good little tackle there. Good little tackle again. Mar Marcus is just being right where they need to be. On defense when they need to be on defense. Up top when they need to be there. Flower Mound need to watch their passes. I've seen at least five times so far in this game that they've been intercepted. Yeah. I mean, it could be Flower Mound's passes or it could just be Marcus's aggressive defense. Some smart passing going on here. Here we go, down the line. Oh, he's taking it back a little. Nope. And that's fly mounts. No, nope. that is back to Marcus's ball. Nope, it is. Yep, it is Marcus's ball. Ref didn't call that one. It's clean. Passes out wide. Passes back out wide once again. But fly mount gets him. I know. Oh, that was that was good communication there. But it is out. Fly Mountain's ball. Very good communication passing by Marcus here. And kind of the opposite on Fly Mountain. Every time they try and pass, it seems to be intercepted by Marcus. They're just not far enough. You can tell Marcus has been practicing a lot in these situations. Just situa situational awareness. Trying to know where your teammates are. Fly Mountain down the line. Number 26. This is a right to Marcus. Marcus will not waste his opportunity to pass it, pass it out wide. What would they do with this ball? He keeps going down, passes out wide once again. He's looking for options, passes it back. Here we go, working their way. It's good patience from them. Oh, that, that was a good little skill move right there. Out wide once again. It's good switching. Passing it back. Oh. Man, Marcus and their skills. They they are not afraid to use that on you. Here we go down the middle. And that is Fire Mound's ball. And don't let that one get out for a kick. What do you what do you think that both these sides need right now? Uh well Fire Mound needs some better passing for sure. I mean, they've missed a lot of their passes they've had and who knows what would be happening if they weren't. And uh, Marcus needs to capitalize on the opportunities they're getting. They're getting a lot of opportunities so far this game. And they haven't capitalized on any of them. Here we go. Nice little patience there out wide to Nick Julian. Nick Julian to the other side. We go a good little touch. But not a good pass enough to get to his teammate. Intercepted by Flower Mound. And back to Marcus. And oh, he's going down. He's going. Back to Flower Mountain's ball. It's a good tackle by Flower Mountain. It's a good tackle by Marcus. Look at that. That was clean. We go back to the defense. Back to the goalkeeper. 
Goalkeeper's looking around, see what he has. Keeping it simple back to Trevor Shagnessy. Marcus seems to be playing it safe for a little bit and then they'll just hit you with a deep pass. Ooh, close. That was close by a fly mound. Was uh, one of the if I'm correct, that's probably one of the first shots they had in this whole game. One of the first shots of just the whole game in general. Still 33 minutes left in this game. Number eight. Taking it down. Now white to Nick Julian, down the line. It's good pressure from Fly Mound there, out, outside. Nick Julian with the ball. Back to the defense. Down the line. It's good skill from the back, but it was outside. You can tell the coach is impressed, though. He likes what he's seeing down there. I mean, we, we've talked about good communication, but sometimes it's not good enough, as you saw. Number two there uh, um, staggered a little bit. He didn't know if he was going to get the pass or not. That was good. It was a good attempt to get that to his teammate. It was a good hit, but uh, still a lot of bounds. Here we go for a number throw in by number 25, Eric Ostkin. Down the line, right to Marcus. It's a good little turn there to the middle. Intercepted by Flymount. Really dangerous spot. It's a really poor shot. Right to the goalkeeper. I mean, hey. And that's two more shots for Flymount than we've seen Marcus take this game. They're getting the chances, but they're not executing it. Shots taken is a very important part of this game because eventually if you start drilling shots in, if you start drilling shots even at the goal, it's going to go in eventually. Here we go. Fly him on defense. So that was a good pass if it made it right to him. Here we go. That is out on Fly Mound. That will be Marcus's ball. And Marcus being very aggressive right now. Smart passing, smart movement, smart communication. Here we go down the line. Oh, you could tell he wanted to pass it right back, but that pressure was just too good. Passes it back. Always oh, look. Oh, intercepted once again by Flower Mound. Passes it back. Up the line. To the middle. Marcus really want that ball back. This is a really good area for them to get it. Yeah, this is the point when you can't tell if it's Flyer Miles passes or Marcus defense. Oh, little little contact there. His Flyer Miles passes may be on target, but Marcus will go and press in on the ball as fast as they can. Here we go. Long kick down by number 25. Flyer Mound has kept the ball. He's going down the field. Pass to the middle, but right to the goalkeeper little bit less power and that was might have been a nice shot we're seeing um, we're seeing a lot of good attempts here by fly mound Marcus doesn't get their head in the game it might one of those shots might just get in a few more fixes on the passes for fly mound, and it could be a dangerous for Marcus here you go fly mound with the ball taking it back really patient from the side trying to take more time than they usually have seeing that Going fast. Go, isn't good pressure, working. and Hunter Hoffman is down. Lots of contact there. I mean, there's probably going to be a lot of contact during this game, considering that, uh, like we've mentioned before, it is an intense rivalry. Neither side want to lose this one. I mean, I guess they never want to lose ever. Here we go. That'll be a foul. We go starting with Flower Mound. Goalkeeper will be taking it. Be Caden Harris. You can tell Flower Mound players are just so desperate to get that behind. It's 
Good little head down, but right to the Marcus players. Marcus is just everywhere on the field, and that's why none of these passes can get by. He'll everywhere. be out on Flower Mound. Everywhere Flower Mound seems to pass to, there's a Marcus player there ready to intercept it. Here we go. Hunter Hoffman with the ball down to the middle. Porter Pomacaw. Down the line to Hunter Hoffman. That was a good little setback. It's going to be out on Flower Mound, I believe. That will be a corner kick for Marcus. See if they can use take this as advantage. I mean, if you hit the corner kick just right, it would be very good. Number five, Noah Peeler will be taking the kick. Here we go. That's a header, but too much over the bar. You know he's going to regret that one. It's a little less power, and it might have gone in just over the goalie. All right, let's see. Let's see if we'll take this one. It's a low shot by the goalkeeper. But Flower Mound seemed to keep the ball. Too much power there. That'll be out on Flower Mound. And Marcus, although having a bunch of possessions here, not capitalized so far on any of them. It's a good switch from Marcus to the middle. Down out wide to Nick Julian, looking for options. Back to the middle. To Carbs. He's taking it down. Oh, that was a good little pass. Can Hunter Hoffman finish it? Nope, that was right to the goalkeeper. And the uh, pattern I'm seeing is a little too much power on every pass that's been close to the goal. For both teams, really, Marcus, that's like the first or second pass that's had too much power. Well, you have too little power behi behind the player. You have too much. It'll get right over. You just need a good balance, and it's difficult to find that sometimes. That'll be out on Marcus. Go down the line. Flower Mountain was almost close to that one. Quick throw by Flower Mountain. Nearly cost him, but still have the possession. Hater in a dangerous area, though. A lot can happen right here. Down this far in the field, yeah. Here we go right in the middle. Looks like flower mounds. Might nope. have been a little bit of mis miscommunication. See, two here players we went up for that Nick ball. Nick Julian passes it down. Can Hunter Hoffman catch up? No. Nope. Flower mounds goalkeeper has possession. He's telling his, play he's telling his teammates to move around a little. Here we go. Oh, a little pressure there. Looks like that will be a will be a foul. I know a peeler. Believe that was no the card. Second one on uh, Marcus so far. Second foul. Here we go. Flower Mounds ball takes it far down the field. Oh, they have possession of it. And that was a good block there by Marcus. Just they above 25 minutes to go. Down the line. Can we get can they get this out of the danger zone here? They definitely don't want it there. There we go down the line to Hunter Hoffman once again. Uses his speed. Oh, it is a good touch. Ball right there. No appealer going down. Hunter Hoffman passes it to the middle. Hoffman is very quick and he's shown it this game. He gets the good lead on the defender, and there's nothing they can do to catch up. Passing it back. Defense, defense is pushing up a lot. That's really good. Out wide to Nick Julian. Back to Nick Julian. Down to Hunter Hoffman. And that was too much pressure. I mean, too much power right there. A little bit too forward. A little bit back, and it's a perfect pass, but... As we've said, it's very hard to find the balance between too much power and too little. You put too much and it goes ahead like we've seen. You put too little, you might give it to the defenders. Here we go once again with Eric Oskin with the free throw. 
Passes it up for his team, but Marcus intercepts it. That was a good little skill there. Passing it back more. Garrett Carbs. Garrett Carbs down. None of his teammates could find that ball. Ooh, that was really dangerous for Fly Mount. Oh. Julian passes it in. Passes it up. No appealer. He's going down the line. And that'll be out. Barely, though. Nearly was in bounds. You could tell some frustration here from from Eric Oskin as, as he can't find anyone to pass it to. I mean, it's, he's thrown it in a lot of times during this game, too. It's bad touch from Marcus there. But, and right back to Farmount. Here we go, Hunter Hoffman passing it back. He's running up the line. He's calling for the ball right now. But he'll take that ball down to the middle. Will he take the shot here? Nope, that'll... Ah. That was too good a pressure. He really had no other option but to just keep going down. Great defense by Flyer Mount cutting off the inside, making sure he couldn't shoot the ball anywhere near the goal. They're playing tactical. They're playing good. They keep that up, they, and they just get a goal behind. They'll, they'll be totally fine. Both teams playing great defense, though. Don't see how either team is going to get a goal off of this defense. That's the best part about this game. You get to see how that happens somehow. It's going to be spectacular when it does. Oh, that. Lots of pressure with that ball. But at the end, that will be Flower Mounts throwing. Went flying after the good stuff from Marcus. Here we go down the line. Oh, that'll be. Oh, and they they got it out. Down to the line for Marcus. Passing it back. Down more. Still a kind of dangerous place for Marcus. His flyer mount's been having it in their side of the field almost all game. They really have. It. I mean, with with the speed of Hunter Hoffman, who's just. I mean, he's he's dying for the ball. He's waiting for the ball up there. That's all Marcus has to do. They just have to give it to him, and he uses his speed to try to get past everybody or at least wait for, um, for more players to come and finish them for him. Hit Hoffman with a good enough pass, and he'll be gone past all defenders. Here we go. Fly him out with the ball. Passing it down the middle, hoping now find someone, and it does. Passes it up more. Bad touch. Right back to Marcus, but they make up for it. They're going down the line. Can he find someone in the middle? It's a good block right there. But still, Flyermount will have it deep in Marcus's territory. Looks like a little directing here by Garrett Carbs. It's so gonna be, it's gonna be a deep free throw here. Here he goes. Oh, and hopefully they can get that out for Marcus, but Flower Mound's dying to keep it in. It's to the middle, but they kick it right out. That was a very deadly place there for a second for Flower Mound. Very close to scoring, Flower Mound. Marcus was, uh, Marcus may have gotten a little scared there. Here we go, Mark. Flower Mound down. Get it right back, but Marcus passes it up. It's a good little pass back. Intercepted right by Flower Mound. Headed back by Gary Carbs. Out wide. There's lots of volleyball going on here. Kicked back by Gary Carbs. Back by Flower Mound. There we go, looking around, passes it back. And that was a good little clean tackle there by Marcus. Oh, ah, out wide. Let's see what they can do here. Can they do anything? Ah, it's, it's a good tackle by Flower Mound, but Marcus get it right back in a dangerous area. And it's a good save by the goalkeeper there. I mean, not not even a minute ago, we saw Flyer Mound down in uh, Marcus's end, but now Marcus' explosive offense is, has it back down in Flyer Mound's end. 
Here we go. Fight. Both sides fighting to keep that ball. Here we go. Good little tackle. Going up. Marcus intercepts it. Good movement and good passing once again. Switches aside on defense. To Nick Julian. Back to number 20. He's going up a little. Good pass across the field. But bad touch. Right outside. I mean... I mean, uh, apparently when Marcus goes and scores once, they score multiple times because they're averaging, if there's 11 games they've scored, scored a total of 30 goals, they were averaging just under 3 goals a game. Here we see at the sideline, number 12, Harvey Castro, one of the captains warming up. You think they're going to put him in the game pretty soon? I mean, I, they might when they think they might need to score. I mean, they need to see results pretty soon. Here we go, Hunter Hoffman with the ball, passing it back to Portman. Down that line. That was a good pass. Can he reach it, though? Fly him out and make it just in time to kick that out. Here we go, fly him out and taking it up. Down the line, but also outside. Still a very, very close game. Tied at zero, and... uh. Both teams have been in scary positions in the threat of being scored on multiple times this game. You can tell these fans from Marcus are dying for results. They want something to happen here. And even a few of Flower Mounds fans came out. I mean, you can't really blame Marcus for wanting results there. They're 10-1 this season there. They've been unstoppable. Well, except for the last game, they must, I mean, they must have taken that game as a lesson. Here we go, fly him out with, with the free throw. Just planning to take this one deep. Here we go down the line. Fly him out with the ball. And he takes it inside. But intercepted by Marcus. But fly him out and take it back. They're going down the middle once again. He keeps going. That's a good pass down. And intercepted by the goalkeeper. Nearly scored again for one of the many times this game. Claremont has it deep in Marcus' territory. Here we go. Marcus trying to play it smart, taking it back, being really patient with that ball. Back to the goalkeeper once again. And Claremont intercepts that ball. He's taking it down the line into the middle. Marcus defense kicks it back up out. Oh. A lot of contact on that one. Here we go, Porter. Let me call. Taking it down that field. He's looking for options. He wants this to be a goal and he shoots. Goalkeeper almost didn't catch that one. I mean, think about it. The goalkeeper fumbles. There's one guy right there to take advantage. Here we go, Flower Mound. Passing it down that line. And that'll be Marcus's ball. It's a good touch by Flower Mound there. Marcus is doing a great job to keep it in on very sideline plays. Here we go, can he get past one on two? No, he passes it back. It's good pressure there by Marcus, but that'll be Flower Mound's ball. I mean, I'd say so far Flower Mound has had more opportunities than Marcus had, has had to score. Here we have, like I was saying earlier, Harvey Castro going into the game. Do you think we can see something different going on here? I mean, uh, it's, it's always possible. They want something to happen. They want to see a goal go through. We also have number 10, Sam Code, go in. The difference between Flower Mounds and Marcus's near scoring possessions is Flower Mounds had more, but uh, Marcus has had the more deadly ones. Like, they've come way closer to scoring than Flower Mound has. Looks like they've made a little change to their midfield here with the players. Probably want to get that ball up more. 
get those opportunities in. Here we go, down to the other side. It's a good stop by Nick Julian to the middle. Here we go, that was a good pass down, but that was right to fly mound. Intercepted by Sam Code. He's looking for options. It's a good pass back to Sam Code, out wide. I mean, we, right to the middle. We've just we seen Code right come out. in this game, and he's gotten very good passes so far. I mean, you need to. Here we go. That will be Marcus's ball. Taking it down, but intercepted by Fly Mound. It's going to be uh, Marcus's, I mean Marcus's ball. ball. Yeah. Hopefully, Marcus can make this. Very painful for Flower Mound these coming minutes. Here we go. He's trying to get past this one defender. It's a tackle, but that will be a foul for Flower Mound. Looks like he's on the ground. And both teams here really want to get a goal before halftime to put them in a good enough position to win this game. This is not a good spot for Flower Mound right now. This is very deadly. With a team like Marcus, yeah, it's it's gonna be very terrifying having this this good of a team who scored 30 goals this season down in this position. Here we go. That'll be Harvey Castro taking the kick straight off the bench. Hopefully he can he can beat a result they were hoping for. If he is, we could we could easily see a goal here. Good movement, good pressure going on in the box right now. That is right in and oh, oh, they're fighting to keep that one in. And that was a goal. It's goal by Marcus. Is it? Wow, wow. Yes, I is. have to say that was very impressive. What I mean, what did we say about Harvey Castro and that cross? He has just proven. I mean, that was a good goal. I mean, like what what we've seen. The only reason either team hasn't scored was because of their passes. They needed to get it better, and Castro came in and hit him with a good pass. You could tell the Fly Mound defenders expected it to be out. They expected it to be over, but no, they weren't paying attention and. Whoever was in the back just shot that right in. Can't let your guard down on a team this good. Looks like coming into the game we'll have Zach Castro along with his brother. We have both Castros in the game now. Like we said earlier, he could, could start up that chemistry. Here we go, Marcus with the ball. Short little pass in. Down the line. But Flower Mound take it back. A little physical there, but Flower Mound take it down quickly. Intercepted by Marcus, but wait. And that that's clean. Wait. No, that'll be a foul right there. Trying to catch him off guard accidentally ends up in well, Marcus having possession. Here we go. Harvey Castro. Back to the goalkeeper. Back to Castro. Looks like he's taking it down a little. He's challenging that def <laughs> Looks like down the line, taking it back a little. Ooh, that was a really risky switch right there. I mean, Marcus, if they want to, can play as safe as they want. They're up by one. They can, uh, they can just take time off the clock and uh, end this game. Here we go, throwing for Flower Mound here. See if Eric Oskin can get it to a key player. The Flower Mound, go. if they, the Flower Mound wants to keep it close, they're gonna try and score before halftime. Oh, Noah Peeler fighting for the ball. Marcus hounded down. And Flower Mound's taking it down now. It's a good header back to his teammate. Oh, that's very risky. Man, they were very close. Flower Mound was very close to getting that ball. 
And it looks like he's going down to the corner. Sam Code. He's fighting for that ball. He wants it. No appealer in to help. Sam Code with the ball. Very, very aggressive right now. And that will end up being Marcus's ball. And that will be a quick kick there. No appealer. Oh, can he shoot this? And he, it is right behind him. A little bit oh, of miscommunication. Can he take a shot here? Oh. Very close. That was very good from Marcus. Good passing. Maybe they need a little more communication there. As you can see, Sam Code had the pass right behind him. But that was really good movement. They did not wait at all for that. When he kicked it back, if uh, if he hadn't have been and maybe distracted, maybe he wasn't paying attention, they might have been up 2-0 by now. Here we go. That will be Marcus's ball. They're taking it down. No appealer. I'm out fighting for it. Oh, it's a really big push there. But Marcus, get it back. He's going down the line. Oh, and he, man, lots of collisions going on here. Back and forth, back and forth. A lot of tension between the two teams with a rivalry like this. I mean, now that Flower Mound's down one, they, I mean. They got to play a lot more aggressive. I mean, it's every man for himself now. Anything to get that ball. Here we go. Pass back to Porter. Nick Julian out wide. Down the line. It's good defense there by Flower Mound. Kicking it out. Yeah. Just trying to make sure they don't get too fast of a possession. Here we go. Pass back. Looking for options to the middle of Porter Pomichol. To Harvey Castro, out wide to Sam Code. Now be intercepted right by Flower Mound, maybe. And they'll let that one go out for a kick. Flower Mound's just gonna have to get the ball all the way down the field and try and score before seven minutes, but uh, no matter how many times they've had it down the field, they've not scored yet. Hey, like I said, anything can happen. If if Flower Mountain just get that one chance, that one clear chance for them to shoot inside that goal, they'll I mean, they they'll take it. Here we go here. Oh Harvey Castro gets fouled. I mean, that will be a foul on Harvey Castro. That'll be Flower Mountain's ball. Looks like we have an injury here though. Number eight. Janik Florak. Did you, did you see what happened there, Ray? Uh, no, I didn't. Looks like it's a problem with his head. It might have been from earlier because as we saw, the ball was down further into Marx's territory than that. Could have been something that happened earlier. Maybe hit the, hit something hit his head. Like we said earlier, I mean, fly them out or just... You can tell they're getting a little worried, but they shouldn't let that get to their heads right now. It's only 1-0. They get one more, they can tie the game. They get two more, they can win the game. As long as they keep that up. And Marcus? Marcus is doing good right now. It's just a communication. Marcus may be looking to score one more to put themselves at a safe point where they don't have to worry as much as being it tied. Looks like number eight will be coming out. And a substitute will be coming in. That will be number 22, Jose Salvetti. Here we go. Fly him out, starting with the ball. It's a deep kick down. Goalkeeper punches it right out. Bicycle kick by one of the Fly Mount players. Right out. And bicycle kick, if it was on target or even into the midfield. That would have been... been I mean, that would have been amazing to see in person, I have to say. Yeah. Here we go. Goalkeeper looking for options. Passes out wide to Garrett Carbs. Going down the field a little. Right to number seven, out wide. Back to Garrett Carbs. He tries to switch the field a little. It's really risky to pass it in the middle, especially in this area. And the other team trying to pressure you. 
deep kick by Garrett Carbs. A little mis miscommunication there. And we've been talking this whole time about Fireman and getting that one chance to score, but even if they put a shot on that, what's to say it's going to get past Roca? That's true. Very true. Looks like Marcus will be taking their time here. Playing tactically. Here we go. Garrett Carbs taking it down slowly. He's looking for options. Switches it to the other side. About five minutes. Number left. ten for Fly Mountain, Christian Hernandez. You can tell he is he is running for that ball. He wants that right away. It's good good pressuring from him. Here we go, Marcus trying to keep that ball. Harvey Castro to the middle to Noah Peeler. Back to the other side of Gary Cobbs restarted. He's going down slowly. Stops the ball. To the middle of the Porter. Passes it. This is good passing. This is good communication. Here we go. And that will not be called. Now we'll go right back to Marcus. And that that will be called. It's a lot of contact. Flyer Mount playing very aggressive. Flyer Mount don't want to risk them having another goal. If they get another goal, that will totally ruin their, I mean, how they feel about this game. Marcus already has most of the momentum, but they just got to keep that limited, or try to at least. Here we go. Looks like a kick here by Marcus. Down to the middle. Oh, Flyer Mount takes that right out. But it's not out of danger yet. Marcus takes it back out wide. He's going down to the corner. Good pressure here by Fly Mound. That'll be a, a throw-in for them. Here we go. Marcus take it back. Nick Julian passes it back. Right to Garrett Carbs. Down to the middle. Now I have to say, like I said earlier, Christian Hernandez, number 10. He, he wants that ball. But Marcus, oh, Harvey Castro there with a good little flip. Here we go. He takes it back. Nick Julian. Here we go. A little under takes three minutes more. left in this first half. And uh, still a very close game. Flyer Mound not out of this by any means. That would have been a great pass right there, but intercepted by Flyer Mound. Here we go. Christian Hernandez. A little pass there. Fly Mount taking it down. Can he back to Christian Hernandez? A little bit of a powerful kick there on the beginning dribble of Hernandez and it put it right in the feet of the Marcus player. We can start to see Marcus with the with more chances now. And Fly Mount starting to die down a little. You think you think that has to do with the score or just them getting tired? I mean it's gotta be it might be a little bit of both. Whenever you see you're down in a game like this, you really can't focus much. And, uh, well, after playing nearly, uh, or yes, playing 38 minutes, you've got to be tired. Here we go. He's looking for options. Some good positioning for Fly Mound here. Christian Hernandez taking the lead. But also good passing from Marcus. Keeping calm under pressure. Gotta give him that. It's also a good pass down the line. Put out. That'll be Marcus's ball. I mean, Marcus has to stay calm. If they don't, they're gonna make a mistake. And uh, well, a mistake could mean uh, getting uh, scored on. Here we go, Nick Julian out wide. Sam Code. Sam Code takes it down a little. Will he take a shot here? He takes it in more. Man. He dribbled past two of them, but he just couldn't get the shot he wanted. And oh, Christian Hernandez, what did I tell you? Good pivot, good pressure from him. No one to help him in the middle, though. Oh, here we go. Good block there. Got that out of harm's way. Christian Hernandez here. Look at him. Christian Hernandez just chasing him down. 
He's been on fire, at least uh, putting pressure on Marcus, making sure they can't chill in any way, can't calm down, can't keep uh, making Marcus keep their foot on the gas. Here we go to Nick Julian. Ooh, very close pass to Harvey Castro, to Sam Code. Oh, oh, let's see what we can do here. And that was a very block there. Did Marcus get the ball back. Ten seconds. Let's see, Marcus takes it down a little more. Good pressuring from Flower Mound. And that'll be, that concludes the first half. Now, what, I mean, what can we say about both these teams right now? I mean, that was just crazy. I mean, Flower Mound's up 1-0. But anyways, we'll take a break now. At the end of the first 40 minutes, the score is Marauders 1 and Jaguars 0. Tonight's game will continue on LSMN in a moment, but please be sure to check out some of the great programs that Career Center have to offer.
welcome back to the game of the week where we have Marcus up one against Flymount who has zero goals right now. I am here with Ray and I am Levi Scheiman and it looks like we have the players going out on the pitch right now. Now Ray, what did you notice from the first half that could use a lot of improvement? Well in the first half I believe uh, Flymount missed a lot of passes that could have given them open shots and good opportunities. Now that's very true. Now as we said earlier um, number 10 for Flymount, Christian Hernandez, who has been pressuring constantly against Marcus, wants to equalize this now. Now, if he could get one, he will be a real, I mean, he'll be a big hero for them. I mean, he's one of the hardest playing players right now, right now for uh, Flymount. One of the ones we've been seeing, chasing the ball all night and just trying to get it into the goal to get them on the scoreboard. Now, let's see if Marcus can maintain this lead or even let's grow it up a little more. I mean, ideally, they would want to go up by at least one more so they can, uh, even if Flyman does score one goal, they can stay up still. If they get that one goal, that'll definitely, that'll definitely give uh, Flyman a lot to think about, maybe even uh, affect them mentally. It's a whole new half, though. Who knows? Flyman could come out a completely different team. Here we go with Flyer Mount starting with the ball right now. Referee's getting ready. Everybody's ready to go. Number 18 for Flyer Mount, Reagan Tubbs taking a kick, and here we go. Here we go out wide. Down the line for Flyer Mount, but taken by Marcus. Noah Peeler takes it down. To Castro, but bad put touch by Castro. Fly mound to the middle. He number eight. I mean, no, Castro takes it. Noah Peeler takes it out wide. Number nine takes it down the line. He's taking his time. He's using his skills. He's getting where he needs to be, right between his legs, but not where he wanted to go. Whole new half and all that, but the yeah, fly mound's passes still seem to be off. Down by Flama, but taken out by Carbs. It's going to be Flyman's ball. Now, as you can see, Flyman did not waste any time. You you know their coach told them that they need to play fast, they need to play more physical, and they just got to get that be like behind the net. They need to get the ball as far into the net as they can get it. Here we go, deep pass down by Flyman. But once again, that will be Flyman's ball. It was right on the line when he kicked it. It really could have gone either way. Here we go. You can, you can tell now that Flyer Mountain's going a little more deep. It's good defense by Marcus. Really trying to pin Marcus in their own territory here. Here we go. Castro takes it out wide, and that will be Marcus's ball. I mean, as you said. Flyermount's coach definitely said to them during the half, just play more aggressive, play safe, and, you know, put the ball in the net. Here we go for a deep throw down the line. Good touch by Castro, who's going up, but intercepted. It's a little mistake there. That could have costed Flyermount there. It could right now. A little, little bit of, little bit of contact there. That'll be Marcus's ball. He takes it back to the middle, but not a good enough pass. I mean, that's the cons of an aggressive game. You're going to have some contact, have some fouls maybe. Here you go, intercepted by Castro. Takes it out wide. Back to Castro, who's taking it up down the field. Here we go, out wide. Back to Castro again, who's being a key player right now in passing. He's really uh, taking the ball for his team and trying to find his open teammates. Here we go, Marcus playing smart, smart down the line to Castro. Out wide even more. Taking it in a little to the box. Back to number 11, out wide. To the middle, no appealer. Back out wide. Back to number 25. And all the way back to the goalkeeper. They might be trying to kill clock here, realizing that if they can get as much clock off as they can, 
And Flyerman really won't have a chance to score. Here we go. Flyerman's goalkeeper now with the ball. Good pressure by Noah Peeler. Goalkeeper gets it out. I'll be out on Marcus. Oh no, that would be Marcus's ball. I'm sorry. Quick throw in. Here we go. Marcus with the ball and that's clean. That is not a foul. Down to the box. Can this be it? Can he get a shot on? And that was blocked. That was a good save, but man, if he had gone, if he had had the mo more accuracy on that second shot, that would have, that would have definitely, that would have definitely ruined the mood of Fire Mound right there. I mean, it was a really good shot and incredible save by uh, number one Leach. Uh, but then, yeah, you're right. Uh, a little bit more accuracy, maybe some more time taken on that second shot. It could be their second goal of the night. Could have been a little too much pressure for him right there in the moment. Here we go of Castro. Trying to take it out wide. Looking for options. Takes it to takes it to the middle now. Out wide. McJulian. Passes a middle number eleven. Two carbs. Passes it down out wide. Good pass by Carbs. Here we go down the line. He's looking around. He pat he's going back. Oh, but he fakes Flyer Mound. And that will be out. That will be Flyer Mound's ball. I mean, uh, Marcus is doing a very good job there and keeping it inbounds for a while when Marcus, or sorry, Flyer Mound pressured them enough to get the ball back. See if Flyer Mound can make a good enough play to get this across to um, Marcus's side. Here we go, deep pass down the line. Touch on by Marcus. That will be out on Flower Mound. Now just like that, Marcus has possession in Flower Mound's half. Flips like just like that. Looks like number six, Porter. Tommy Cow will be coming into game now. Lots of movement from Marcus here looking for the pass. Here we go. Trying to switch it to the other side. Down the line. That was good. That was really good communication there. Let's see if they can get a second chance on this. Taking it down the middle. Down inside the box. Good little touch. But kicked out by Fly Mountain. Nearly a great pass there. I mean, that little touch. Looks like a little, uh, little confusion there about that touch there. That'll be, that'll be uh, the Jags ball. A little bit of hesitation by Sam Code there. And it rolled between his legs to go through and out of bounds. Here you go, touch on by Fly Mound. Now will also be out on Flower Mound with Marcus and the ball. They do not hesitate to put it down. Marcus with the ball. Nice taking play. it down the corner to the middle. Uh, let's see if they can. Oh, a little too hard over the goal. Marcus has been putting shots on net all night. Just barely off. We haven't seen one shot yet from Flower Mound, but we've been seeing a lot of lots of pressure from Marcus. It's a very flipped side of the game here from Flower Mound, who started off with a bunch of missed shots, but now Marcus is taking a lot of shots, but they've only made one. It's true. Here we go, Marcus with the touch. Flower Mound pushing it down. Touch on by Marcus again, but Flower Mound again. A lot of back and forth in this game. Here we go down the line. Touch on by Flower Mound. Back. Out wide. Back to number 24. He's taking it up. It's good defense by Marcus. Goalkeeper passes it out wide. Far shot down, and then look, oh, that's a good pass. But Flower Mound gets to it first. Goalkeeper shoots it down. 
Here we go. Lots of physical contact here. Flymount gets it. To one on two with Marcus getting the ball at the end. A little bit of contact there by the Marcus player. Two carbs. Passing it down to Porter. Back to carbs. Out wide to Noah Peeler. Down the line to Castro. Down the line. Can Noah do something with this? To Milt to Castro. Back out wide. Really good moving here. Two to middle, but it was out. I mean, whenever Marcus is driving down the line, uh, there's always a flyaround player there to shadow him. You can tell that they've been practicing these movements in practice. I mean, if you look at how they move, when one person goes here, the other has to go here. And when that person goes there, the other has to go there. Which is good communication. And overall, go shot down by Flower Mound. Touch on by Marcus. Back to Flower Mound to Marcus. Flower Mound take it to the middle. Back out wide. Good pressure by Marcus with Flower Mound. It's getting really, really physical now. You can see it. Marcus is just always there to clear the ball when they need to. Here you go. That will be out on Flower Mound. Now, as you can see, I mean, as we said earlier, Flower Mound just hasn't. I mean, I think I think the score is getting to them, right? I mean, it's just when with in the soccer game, not that much time left. You're you're gonna get pressure eventually when you're down. Here we go. Looks like Flower Mound's ball. It's a quick pass down. No peeler passes it down to Castro. Castro to the other Castro. Here we go out wide back to Noah Peeler. Going to the middle. Good pressure by Flower Mound. Castro. Down to Castro again. To the middle. Let's see if Sam Code can do anything with this. He's taking it down into the box. Cleared. Shot down by Flower Mound. Good pressure by Garrett Carbs, passing it to Noah Peeler. To Castro. Fast pass there. Here we go, Noah Peeler. Carbs. Back to Carbs. Marcus has been giving it to their goalkeeper a lot, trusting him with the ball and seeing if he can find an open person. Here we go. Down, intercepted by Flower Mound is good defense. Marcus got a touch on it, but Flower Mound take it back. Taken by Castro, he's going down. Passes it to the yellow Castro, out wide. To Code. Down inside the box, and that is almost a goal. That was a very good header. That was very good. That was a good pass from Sam Code and would have been a better finish if he had made that in. I mean, just putting putting it all out there, trying to get up by two. Really good job there. Nearly went in. <laughs> Here we go to Noah Peeler. To Castro. Castro gets it back. He's fighting for that ball, and he's on the ground. That will be a foul on Flat Mound. Man. Is that Florak, who we I believe we saw get injured in the first half? Looks like, looks like that he's he's kind of a little mad from what happened last half. He's back and ready to play. Here we go. Kick will be taken by Porter. It's a quick pass to Castro. Can he passes it to the middle? Would have been great there. Pommy call. Nick Julian out wide to Sam Code. Sam Code has a good touch. Fakes him out a little. Attempts to put it in the middle. Contact there. 
It's getting feisty in here. Here we go. Porter Pommy call to Nick Peeler. Castro to the middle. The Flower Mound takes it right back. Flower Mound can't seem to get it past uh, about quarter. They, they just can't get though. it past the 30-yard 30, the 30 line at all. Here we see Noah Peeler with the ball. Gets it in. Down to the corner to Castro. Crossing. And, oh, that was a good header, but not in target. Oh, my gosh. Ray, what are you seeing here that we need to see more of? I mean, um, Marcus is putting a lot of shots, shots on the net, but they're just barely off. I mean, and Flyer Mount has not been able to get it past midfield yet. Just good, good chances by by Marcus, but not good enough from Flyermount. I mean, Flyermount keeps doing this. It is going to cost them dearly, and there's it's going to go to the point where they can't come back from this. I mean, and they've already struggled to come back from one goal. If if Marcus would go out by two, maybe they can't even come back from one. Here we go. Deep kick by Flyermount. Touch on by Marcus. And already Marcus has possession again. Here we go, Garrett Carbs. Down out wide. Back to Carbs. A little too much power there. That will be Flower Mound's ball. Here we go, a little fake out there. This is one of the first times we've seen Flower Mound even have the ball in the this half of the field. Starting to hear some, uh, lots of noise coming from the crowd right now. And, and look at that, that'll be a chance for Flower Mound. Gary Carbs kicks it out. Looks like Flower Mound starting to get in the game now, Ray. Very good pass by Flower Mound, and Roca saved it. Flower Mound fighting for that ball. Now at the end, that'll be Marcus's. That'll be a quick pass by them. A little bit better positioning by Flower Mound there, and I believe that's a goal. One more guy up in that box, and... Yeah, I believe it's a goal. Oh. That would have been good there. That would have been a good opportunity for Marcus. Was contact, though. Here we go. A little pass down to the ground. It's 12. Back oh, to the on. other side. Passes it out. Intercepted by Marcus. Marcus taking it back a little. Passes it out wide. Good little skill there by Porter Pomical. Here we go. It's good movement from Marcus. Porter Pomical with the ball. Ooh, lots of contact going on here, and that will be a foul on Marcus. I believe that is. Hearing lots of boos coming from the stands right now. That's Denisco, who the camera was on there. You can tell the crowd is not happy with that call. Not at all. Here we go, another deep kick by Flower Mound. Touched by Castro. But Flower Mound gets it back. They put it out wide, but intercepted by the defenders. Out wide, taking it down the line. Good pass, but that'll be out. That'll be Flower Mound's ball. That was barely out if he had kept it in. It was going to be a good possession for Marcus. Even if it's just a little out, the referees will definitely call that. They don't want any suspicion on any calls. Want to keep themselves as we go accurate as possible. Throw. And that'll be Marcus's ball. Here we go. Must have been some shot sort of foul. Porter with the with the shot once again. But it's to the goalkeeper. Here we go. He's taking it down the field, step by step, little by little. To the middle, back to him. If they go too fast, they did, they might make down the line. They might make a mistake if they go too fast, and that's the last thing they want right now. They've got a comfortable lead that they've kept uh, most of the game, and well, they want to keep it that way. Here we go, carbs to Porter, no appealer. Out wide, but there was a little miscommunic miscommunication there, as you can see. He wasn't ready for that pass. Short little pass down to number 21. Good little header there. Good little setup for Castro. 
Passes it to Porter. Porter looking for options. Passes it out wide to Sam Code. Looks like he has someone running up for him. Here we go. It's back to Sam Code. Can he do anything with this? Back to. Here we go. Good pressure from Flymount, who just wants to get it out of there. Don't want to risk anything. I believe it's going to be Marcus's ball, which is going to put Flymount in the risky position. Defense, defense, defense. That's all we need to see from Flymount right now. And after that, we need to see some more offense. We need That's to see a little bit of everything from uh, Flymount, from Flymount right now. Looks like he might be going for a powerful throw in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it went past everybody. Powerful shot from Sam Code. Very high shot. It wasn't shot. very on target. Very powerful. Nowhere near the target. About 20 minutes and 30 seconds left to go in this uh, game. Marcus up by one. Here we go, goal. Here we got a little... Substituting going on. Number 24 and 11 are coming out. Now would you look at that? Number 10, Christian Hernandez is coming in. He was the one we were talking about last half. Very aggressive. Hopefully we can, uh, hopefully Fly Mound can get some results from him. He's definitely been uh, a player to watch last half. There we go. Whistle was blown. Looks like that'll be Flower Mound's ball. Flower Mound needs to get something done. They need to get it done fast. Looks like he's getting ready for a deep kick down by the number of steps he's taken back. I mean, he's going to need to get it down there fast. Anything they've tried hasn't worked so far, so. And this won't either. <sighs> It's a rough, rough touch there by Flower Mound. Sam Code's looking around. Passes it to the middle. Castro out wide, but too much power. That it, it's good taken outside. That's just been a pattern all night with uh, too much power. Everyone's putting a little too much, and it's costing them turnovers and sometimes even goals. Looks like we're more than halfway done with this half with 19 minutes left in the game. You think fly out? Oh, look at that. Javier Hernandez fighting for that ball. Down to the middle, but not enough people to get that in. It's really just one person. Now, the problem I'm seeing here with fly mount is positioning. That's what they need to work on. Is there's, not, there's not enough motivation from fly mount right now to get up there. With formations and all that, they probably need to go into one of their most offensive formations they can find here. Needing to score before 18 minutes passes. Here we go, Fly Mound starting with the ball. They're gonna wanna push up a lot of their players, if not all of them. Make it to the point where they'll have the, the goalkeeper on the free kicks, I mean the corner kicks. Here we go, okay. touch on by Marcus, but Fly Mound pushes it down. But it's kicked down by Marcus. Here we go. Now Porter. here's the problem with having your all your players up. How wide Mark. can Castro get? I mean, Nick Julian get to it? No, he is slammed down. If you have all your players up and well, Marcus gets a fast breakaway, it's Marcus versus your goalie. And Looks like a little argument going on here with one of the players in the ref. Maybe some Number player 18, didn't like. Reagan Tubbs. Player might not like to call or something. Once the referee calls it, there's really nothing you can do about it. No changes. Here we go. Oh, looks like it didn't fool the player. Takes it to Tubbs. Tubbs down. It's just him. It's one on three. Two on three now. It's good pressure from Marcus. I mean, one of the most on-target shots we've seen from Flyman in a while. It's the closest one. That's the only shot we've seen this half. Looks like we got some more warming up from Marcus, number 25. Zaid Tartier. Looks like he's warming up, getting ready to come into the game. 
I mean, in a position like this, you might want to start playing some more players, gaining them experience. Here we go. Lots of physical activity going on here, and that will be called. Yeah. That will be Fire Mountain's ball in a very close position, actually. A lot of contact by Zach Castro there. This might be as close as to the golden. I mean, a Fire Mountain has been for a while now. We'll see if they can make anything of it. Here we go, making sure the ball is right before they take it. They want to try and put themselves in the best position possible to score this. Here we go, into the box, and that is taken by the goalkeeper. Very nice. No pressure, no hesitation, just a catch. And, ooh, very physical there. Looks like that will be Fire Mountain's ball in the end. It was a great throw by Roca to get it out of his own half. Looks like the player was standing at the wrong place to throw it in. A little too far up. Looks like he did it again. And that will be Marcus's ball now. Ref trying very hard not to let anything slide by them today. Got to play fair and square, and that will be right to Castro. Passing it down. Back to Castro. Great pass. Here we go. He's going down the middle. Sam Code down the middle. Moore. Can he get a shot on? He fell. Well, I mean, he Here shot it. It went directly back into his body. I believe that's a new player, 19. Riley LaPlante. Here we go, Fireman with the ball. They do not want to waste his opportunity. Javier Hernandez struggles to get that at the end. If he knows with Sam Code, once he gets that ball, he will try to he will try to dribble past everybody and just and just go down the middle and shoot. I mean, he very well nearly did it there. He's done it multiple times. He's about one player off from getting a shot on that. Here we go. Getting ready for the throw in for Marcus. Looking down the line. It's good head by Porter Pomical. Here we go. He's going in. Down the middle. And that is a goal into the corner. That is perfect. That is amazing. That is what they needed. They, everything is everything is perfect for Marcus right now. I mean, now that they are up 2-0, Marcus can sit back and relax a little bit look at that that was that was perfect he shot it right where it needed to be right when it needed to be and at the end I mean it's 2-0 now I believe 13, that 13 I'm minutes left I believe that was who you mentioned before Sam Code dribbled it by his guy and shot it on target just like you said he was I mean it's players like that you just need to watch out for now Marcus can uh, let their foot off the uh, gas a little. Maybe keep it in their own half. More Just pressure on Fly Mountain now, that's for sure. I mean, for a team that struggled to score one goal, now they got to score two to win. Javier, Javier Hernandez lost the ball there. Uh, Christian Hernandez. All right, looks like Fly Mountain back with the ball. Little a little skill the there. To the middle, but intercepted by Marcus. Here we go. Kicked out. That will be... Flower Mound's ball. Flower Mound's ball. Flower Mound with about 13 minutes left. Needs two goals to tie, three to win. And with a team that struggled to score even one. And all of this Looks game. like there's a problem going on here with the referee and coach. Is it down at Flower Mound sideline? Coach... Coach looked like he was getting a little angry there. I mean, referee's just not having it. He wants him to calm down. Tensions got to be high in a in a game like this. Looks like he got him to calm down. Game will resume now. Starting with Flowermount throwing. Here we go. <coughs> Fireman with the ball. Good touch there. Into the middle. 
No one there to receive it though. The fly mount get it back. Mark is fighting for that ball. A little bit of contact there, but I believe it was Oh. I believe it was twenty one there. Could this be this is a yellow card. This is the first yellow card of the game. Number twenty one, Eric Dinesco. Looked like he curled up into a ball and must have trip one of the Marcus players. The Marcus player is down. I mean, we've been seeing lots of contact in this game, but if it just keeps on happening from the same players, you're you're bound to get a card. That was one of the... Especially a foul like that. That was one of the hardest fouls we've seen all game so far. They got the trainers out. Ready for him. <laughs> you know the coach for Flamel isn't happy about that one, getting a yellow. Never good in a scenario like this. First yellow card of the game, Eric Dinesco. Oh yeah, I can't, I'm not quite sure what player was injured. Looks like, here we go here. Porter, one of the captains, Porter for Marcus will be coming out of the game now. Deep kick down by Marcus. Sam Code. See what we can do, let's see what he can do here. It's one on two. Pass it back to Castro. Down to the middle. To Nick Peeler. Firemount gets that ball. I believe some fans were upset about the contact there. Here we go. So lots of people going deep for Firemount. You know they want this goal badly. They're just going to get it downfield as much as they can and hope. Here we go. Oh! Good contact. Oh, but Flower Mountain has the ball there going down. Can he pass it? Nope. It's not enough time for him to get a pass on, and Marcus took the opportunity. As more and more this game goes on, there's more and more contact, a little bit more tension. Flower Mountain starting to lose hope with just rounding under 12 minutes. Here we go, Flower Mountain with the ball. Good, good pressure from Marcus. They are not letting this 2-0 lead go away. They're definitely trying to keep their lead, trying to keep any pressure. Here we go, Marcus with the ball. They go. Oh, looks like some grabbing going on here. Between another card for for number eight. That will be Janik Florak. Now you can see Flower Mound. They're getting mad, Ray. They do not, at this point, they don't care. They do not want Marcus to score another goal. And Florak was a little bit heated from in the first half when he did get injured. You're correct. That that was the first injury of the game, actually. Number eight. So he's been a little bit heated all game, and, well, now he's got a card. Here we go, Garrett Carbs. Here we go. He's looking around. Pass it down the line. And that will be out on Marcus. Flamon has a very, very close call. Deep in their own territory, though. We've barely been able to see Flower Mound get the goal when it's in Marcus's territory. Now what are they going to do when they have it deep in their own? We're about to hit the 10-minute mark here in this game. Here we go. Marcus get the ball. It's a good touch there. Fly him out, kick it down to Hernandez. Everybody's a little bundled up here. Good touch by Hernandez to the middle. And could this be a PK? Could this? Really 20. Nope, that will be a yellow card on number 28. This is crazy. Omar Jabber. That has been three yellow cards in the past five, ten minutes? Yeah, I mean, it looked to me like Omar, 28, got tripped up a little, but I guess that's not what happened. It's getting crazy out there, Ray. Thanks for, thanks for getting a little uh, too physical. I'm going to wonder when is... That's three cards for Flower Mound. Mark is getting ready to put some more players on, warming up at the sideline. Meanwhile on the field, Sam Code with the ball, taking it back. 
to Gary Carbs. Back to the goalkeeper. Down out wide. Good touch there to his teammate. He's going down the line. Sam Code couldn't get to that ball. This is a very deep hit there by Marcus. A lot of power. It went too far. Here we go. Fly Mount starting with it. Under Here 10 minutes. Go. Lots of pushing going on there. That will be Flower Mound's ball. Flower Mound might be starting to lose hope after a team who couldn't score. And, well, now about maybe. Now they have, now they have three yellow cards. They have three yellow and are, cards. And they're down two points. And for a team that's been uh, unable to score for 70 minutes of this game, now need to score twice in the last 10. Here we go down the line. Very good pass, but... Some very, very tippy touches. A little bit of a fumble there by, I believe it was. I, I couldn't read the number clearly. Oh. Gary Cars with the push. Big contact there. He's lucky that wasn't a card. Christian Hernandez looks like he was looking for a card. He's okay. arguing with the ref a little. Looks like we got something going on here. Number 26 on Flower Mound, James Baxter. Looks like substitution going on here. James Baxter coming out. Coming into game is number eight, Janik Florak, who, who actually had the yellow card. Could Marcus kick it right out. That will be a throw in for. Oh wait, no. That was not out. Florax got to be careful now. He gets another yellow. That will lead to a red. Here we go. Marcus with the ball. To the middle. Very good pass. To no appealer. To code. Good opening. Can he get a cross on or a pass? Here we go. Blocks by Flower Mound, kick it right out. Here we go, taken back by Marcus, going down the line. Good cross in, but right to the goalkeeper. Was on target, just not past the goalkeeper. <laughs> here we go. It's good, some good moves going on here. Right out wide, switching in. Down the line now to Code. That was 13, I believe. Castro. Here we go, Flower Mound taking it down. Flower Mound's now got some pressure going the other way. Gary Carbs trying his best for this, for this jag not to come past him. But it goes into the middle, and that was a good block. Here we go. Coming down. Passing it back to Carbs. Back that's, to him. That's 25 Tartier. There you go. Looks like there's a little, little pushing going on here. And that will be Marcus's first card, Zay Tartier. He hasn't been playing much this game. He'll be coming out the game and inside goes Jack Golden. Lots of booze going on here in the crowd. They do not agree with that call. Considering this is Mark's home. Ooh, very good cross in there. Marcus keep it out. And a very very bad shot that was just not on target. Miscommunication. They might have been trying to pass to someone, but they the, the positioning was just off. They went out of the the area before he threw it. He already passed it in there. Very true. Here we go. We got some subs going on here. 15 is in. Number 21 will be coming in for Marcus Sol Aguirre. 
believe I saw 15 Tanner Taylor coming as well. The deep kick. Going down. Marcus with the ball, Jack Golden out wide. Taking it down the line. It's one on one, and he five out, kick it right back. Ooh. On attack there. That'll be Fire Mountain's ball. One of the Marcus players seemed to have contacted one of the Fire Mountain players in the back. Here we go, getting ready for the kick. Here we go. Kicked right back by Marcus. Here we go. Fire Mountain trying their best to just get close enough to that goal for a shot. With about mm. five minutes left in this game, I, it's seeming unlikely more and more by the second that Flyer Mountain is going to score twice. Noah Peeler passing it back to Tanner Taylor. Here we go to Castro. Castro to the middle. It's Pondeco with the ball. And now it's Jack Golden. Trying to switch the ball, but got intercepted. Here we go. Hernandez almost. Good touch by Hernandez with that speed. Always very good pass by Flower Mountain. Can he catch up to the ball? Oh. Looks like he got to the goalkeeper a little too late. But the ref won't call it. Ran into the goalie and you heard some boos there from the Marcus crowd. Touched on by Fly Mound. It's Castro. Castro to the corner. Can he get a cross on? There's no one in the middle. Here we go, Noah Peeler. Too hard of a shot. A lot of power behind the shots today on Marcus. Go. Looks like number 16 will be coming on Hunter Hoffman. And off will come Castro. 354 here to go in the game. Alright, here we go. Marcus with the ball. See, good touch there by Hoffman. Very good communication and passing here. Oh, Hunt, Hunter Hoffman. It's a little too. The ball is a little too fast for him to catch up to. Here you go. Good, good movement coming on here. Three fifteen left. Here we go. Fire Mountain trying their best. Lots of physical contact here from Jack Golden, who ends up with the ball to Hoffman. Back to Jack Golden. Back out wide to Noah Peeler. Can they get a shot on here? Can they get a good pass in? Hunter Hoffman. Hoffman out by Flower Mound. No, Flower, uh, no, sorry. Marcus is going to have it in Flower Mound's territory, and we've seen them score once here today. You know, Flower Mound's just, they're dying right now. Nearly in this exact scenario, we saw Marcus score once today. Can they do better this time? Oh, I, I, don't, think they, I don't think they can Deep do better. Deep throw in. Marcus looking to recover. Looks like he's going. Good pass back. Into the middle a little. Intercepted by Flower Mound. The Jacks kick it right down to Marcus. Pass back. Good movement, good communication. Back uh, to the defense. Under two minutes now. To the goalkeeper. Down to, to Taylor. And that is out on Marcus. Minute 30 left, and uh, I well. think it's uh, safe to say who um, 
who has won this game. Marcus has led the scoreboard all game, and well, their they've efforts shown it. They've been working hard, communicating hard. They've been doing everything great today. I mean, oh, let's see here. Hunter Hoffman trying to get that ball for Marcus, but Flamount doing some good passing here. But no, Hunter Hoffman intercepts it. I'm going to take it right back. Under a minute now. Good defense ball. by Nick Julian. 50 seconds left. Here we go. They're looking for a deep throw. Just trying to get any points on the board at this moment. Let's see. Can they get a shot here? Marcus kicks it out wide. It's not out of harm's way yet. Oh, that was a trip. That's going to be a peak. That will be a penalty kick. 25 seconds left now. Seeming highly unlikely to see Flyer Mount score two goals. And the kick will be taken by number two, Cameron Sievert. Try and get one goal. Lots of lots of noise from this crowd trying to distract them. Roca getting ready or trying saving it. Oh, and that's a good block for Marcus. It's a great save. Everybody's on their feet. They're happy about this. And that, and that might just seal it. That might just seal the game now. It's a really great save by Roca. But they have a corner. Flamount has a corner. They take it quickly. Touch on. And that's game. That's game. That's the ball game. Our, our final score is Marauders 2 and Jaguars 0. Tonight's broadcast crew is Connor Bronson, Joseph Stanifer, and Levi Scheiman, and I mean, I mean, Ian Harrop is the director. Our ex executive producers are Luke Purvis and Ben Plunecki. For Levi Scheiman, and uh, Ray, thanks for watching Louisville Sports Media Network and have a great night.